Hello, welcome to the Old Golden Black for this preview for the Liverpool FA Cup game and also a bit of a plea to Nuno uh, to start the strongest team that he possibly can. I think we can accept that there's going to be a few changes. John Ruddy will come in for Patricio, you expect. Uh, but I think the rest of the team should really be the best team available. We haven't had an FA Cup run for... Uh, 21 years since we got to the semi-final in 1998 we haven't got to the final since 1960 and for a club that's got quite a history in the FA Cup that's really disappointing we did have uh, that run two years ago now uh, when we got to the fifth round against Chelsea having beat Liverpool and Stoke on the way but we really really need or want as fans something to get excited about now we it's been mentioned quite a lot that we're safe in the league there's nothing to worry about in that respect uh, we're probably not going to finish 7th and qualify for Europe in that way. So why not put all your eggs in the FA Cup basket? Because we only really need 5 more wins to be secure of our Premier League status for next season. And we've got 18 games left to play. So it's quite... or not? Uh, sorry, 17 games left to play. So it's likely that we will get enough points to be in the Premier League next year. That's the main priority for me the priority for the second half of the season and something that I think at the beginning of the season I sort of mentioned that we need to be looking at a FA Cup run. Now I imagine it's going to be a much changed Liverpool team with their priority being the league this year. They haven't won the league since 1990 uh, and they're in a good position at the moment despite losing against Manchester City on Monday. Whenever it was. I could... <laughs> I'm not back at work yet so I'm not sure of the dates. Uh, Thursday was it? So Wolves could pile on at the pressure with a victory against Liverpool and I do expect there to be a number of changes from Liverpool uh, I don't think Van Dijk will play I don't think Salah will play I'm not sure if Mane will play and those few players made the difference I think in the game against us in the league a couple of weeks ago if they were to have Salah missing and Van Dijk missing I think we could get something out of that game uh, a couple of weeks ago however that being said they're still a very very strong team and they will want to win it they're a cup team they've got massive history in this uh, competition as well and the expectation will be that they would they should be able to beat us we have got the home advantage of course we beat them a couple of years ago in the FA Cup but that means absolutely nothing uh, today they were in a really poor vein of form back then they were exhausted Klopp was still finding his feet somewhat uh, as Liverpool manager back then as well I think neither team wants a replay really uh, we don't want to do all that travelling in the week to go up to Liverpool. It means that we'll have another fixture in between the Manchester City game and the Leicester game, which is not what we need. And I imagine that Liverpool, with their commitments in the Champions League and, and Premier League, will not want another fixture on top of it. So we could see quite an entertaining game. And if it is nil-nil with a few minutes, with 20 minutes or so to go, we could see Salah and other top players being brought on uh, to try and get that elusive goal. Now there's been a lot of complaints about the ticket prices, uh, Wolves charging £35 for a ticket for this game despite playing them a couple of weeks ago and it being an FA Cup game and all, various things but they're, apparently from what I've heard from other people is that uh, it's a Liverpool's fault because the ticket gate money gets split 50-50 for this, this fixture Liverpool were unwilling to charge anything other than the top price for this fixture, so, that, so their 4,000 fans have had to pay £35 as well to come to Wolves. So at the time of recording, there's about 7,000 tickets left, which is very disappointing really for a massive fixture, but it's on BBC, it's on a Monday night, people are back to work, people are back to you know, children are back to school, and it's very disappointing from everybody involved that that the ticket prices are as they are. It could have been an incredible atmosphere, but I expect it will be a little bit flat now, uh, particularly if they don't sell out as well. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of the other videos, and share it around to your friends. Tell a friend about my channel who you've never told about before. <laughs> Bye.